have one here. WordPress 101 for Boomers. And what I have here is we've been working on the Weaver 2 and one section I did not get to yet was on the widgets. Now these things you see here on the sidebar, those are widgets. And these things down here at the bottom, these are like footer widgets. And then there's some other ones that we can add in here. With this theme, the theme gives us a lot of ways to add different widgets to different places where we want it. These are a widget right here. That's a header widget. And as you can see here, this one right here is a widget. And so it's down here. I'm not going to keep this one here because it's redundant. It copies this one here. Uh, I may put this in one of those uh, and then change it, but I really don't need both of them. Okay, here we go. You find the widgets by going to Appearance and then Widgets. And they show you different available widgets that are here. And then some of the things that you have for plugins. Well, add some of these, like the feed burner, email subscription, things like that are created by plugins. And um, you, or you can just make your own using like the text. Um, just wanted to show you some of the few things here. Right here, they have a primary top sidebar. And this shows right up at the very, very top of anything that has a sidebar on it. And what I have in here on my site, and you can do this any way you want to do it. I mean, it, it's your site. You, you can do it however you want. But over here on the blog section and the blog post, both, is this, this section right here. It lets people search the site and subscribe by email, follow me on any of these accounts, and share the website. All those things are right there. And you can have all these blocks, same colors or different colors. Um, you can go in and edit these things in um, Weaver. If you were to go to um, if you were to go to appearances and then click on the Weaver to admin, main options, and then click on widget areas, and it'll show you where you can customize these widget areas. And so you can see the colors, different ones there. And if you want a different color, you just go in and you put what color you want. Like you can go in there and say, hmm, I don't want that color, I want a different one. Just so you can put some extra CSS rules in there. But, but you can see you also that where you can make darker or lighter the same color that you may have. You can just change it to whatever color you want. Or you can just type in like transparent. Okay, and you can see that this area now is no longer uh, like that color up here. And I have no idea why it's showing up with this gray color instead of the transparent. Um, but it can be, like I said, you can change that. Okay, I see I had spelled it wrong. It should be why. I was looking at this one down here and that one was spelled right. Okay, and now it's working as transparent. I'm going to go back in and look at some of these other uh, widgets we have. The upper right sidebar is what I have my contents in. And you can see them right here. I kind of like being able to separate with the sidebars of different colors. It kind of helps it show up differently and it's easy to find and navigate to me. And if you find that this may not work well for you, is it something that you think would be easier for you to navigate, please let me know. As this one's saying, like, it's very well documented, but this one says lower or the left sidebar. If I had some on the left and the right, then this would show up on the left. And since we just have one sidebar, it's showing up down below it. This is the header horizontal widget area. That's why I have those social media icons at the top right now. I'll probably change that later. But here you can see how they're showing up there, which works. That uh, orange uh, box I have is like a page top widget area. You could have something go site-wide on all your pages and posts, or just on the pages. And this would be like on just the blog area. And so you got different things. So you can sign this is the footer one. Those are the ones that go up on the bottom. Uh, have fun with this. Try this out. Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers.